Yeah. Not everyone's going to go viral. That's what I tell every single person. Every one of my clients will say, not every post is meant to go viral. Mm -mm. That would be unmanageable. If every single one of your videos hit a million views, you, and you're the one running the show, what are you going to do with all that? How are you going to have time to do anything else? What are we talking about here? You know? So managing expectations when it comes to social media is very, very important. You're so right. Now, you've been an entrepreneur for a few years. You've been scaling, growing your business for a few years. And you also deal with, as you mentioned, your stoma bag. So when it comes to anti-hustle culture, which is something that I'm firmly, I am all about slow living, low demand living as a PDA autist, please don't tell me what to do. It's not going to go well for anyone involved. Uh, What would you say are some of your tricks of the trade for being successful in the anti-culture mindset or the anti-hustle mindset? Mm. I am a proper workaholic, so it's difficult for me to switch off. I love work. It's awful. I hate it. But I, (laughs) since, since getting into like jobs, even job jobs, when I'm hired, I'm all about the job. I go all in and I absolutely, the thing is I love marketing so much. It sounds really nerdy, but I absolutely love what I do. I love working with my clients. And so I go all in. But what I do to help me separate stuff is my, I'm going to whisper her name, Alexa, because I don't like set it off, tells me when to eat lunch, tells me when to have a break, always. And you should hear me. They always do. (laughs) They always do. And I have a strict, I have an hour and a half lunch break every day. Nice. Yeah. Extravagant ladies who lunch like I'm really I take it in and I have a good lunch I make sure it's a delicious even if it's like even if it has to be a McDonald's I'll get the meal yeah I'll get the lunch I'll get whatever I need I try and indulge myself throughout the day and then I always have a strict cut off time 5 p.m phone goes off laptop goes off I want to check my Instagram I want to check my TikTok fine but I know I'll be suffering for it in the morning I'm like ugh, I feel gross if I'm on it too much it just makes me feel like rubbish what else do I do? I don't, I really don't work weekends. I used to, but Saturdays and Sundays, completely my time. And right now I'm trying to incorporate more fun. So yeah, I've been, I've been really sick for the last two years, which has meant all I could do was work. That's the only thing I found myself actually being able to have any fulfillment on. I couldn't go see my friends. I couldn't really have sex. I couldn't like do things that made me feel like a woman all I could do was run to the toilet <laughs> and, and sit on my computer oh I can't so, even um, imagine 